they would judge you. My name is Bob Ingala, and I'm the uh, chief executive officer here at the health center. Uh, on the behalf of uh, the leadership here at the health center, we are honored to be uh, hosting the first of two events today, announcing the partnership for community health's first round of grants exceeding $4 million, which will fund projects at 49 community health centers across Massachusetts. Partnership for Community Health is a 15-year initiative made possible by three allies, uh, the Massachusetts League of Community Health Centers, Partners Healthcare, and the Neighborhood Health Plan. The partnership will provide up to $90 million over 15 years to support the, and underwrite the work we do to reduce barriers to access, promote health equality, and to deliver the best care possible to our patients. Before we begin the program, I would like to acknowledge and recognize some of the folks that have uh, joined us here this morning. First, there's uh, colleagues from other community health centers. There's Jean Welch from South Cove, Maggie Brennan from the North Shore Community Health Center, Laurie Berry from the Lynn Community Health Center, and Sheila Oaks from the Lowell Health Center. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. <laughs> we also have a board member here, Joanna Kroon, who is the chair of our finance committee. And we also have an advisory board to the health center for business purposes to advance the uh, knowledge of what we do in the community. And one of our representatives here is Joe Russo from Hub International. Thank you, Joe, for being here. <laughs> this morning, we will hear from leaders in Massachusetts health care, including Partners Health Care, the Neighborhood Health Plan, and the Massachusetts League of Community Health Centers, as well as Dr. Joseph Gravel, one of our own, who is not only our medical director, but also the director of our residency program. The Greater Lawrence Family Health Center is a major provider of primary care in the Merrimack Valley. We've been rooted in this community for more than 30 years. And today we serve more than 49,000 patients throughout the Merrimack Valley. Like all health centers, in addition to providing a prim primary care, we also offer a broad array of services, such as behavioral health, on-site pharmacy at almost all of our sites, a mammography imaging center, and an extensive HIV program, just to name a few. We also administer preventive and well pro wellness programs and offer comprehensive programs that deal with the chronic illness that our patients face every day, such as depression, diabetes, asthma, and hypertension. The health center also works very collaboratively with our two hospitals, Lawrence General Hospital and Holy Family Hospital to not only make sure that we have a continuum of care, but also to ensure that we reduce inappropriate emergency room visits. The health center is also the sponsoring agency for the Lawrence Family Medicine Residency Program. Founded in 1994, the program has gained national recognition as a model for training family medicine physicians in a community health center setting. Today, we have over 135 alumni who not only provide care in underserved communities in the United States, but also internationally as well. In 1999, the health center was one of the first health uh, organizations, actually, to implement an electronic medical record. 
and go paperless. As you might expect, that was a huge capital investment as well as other resources. But what we gained from that was the ability to access data about our patients, archive that data, and to be able to treat uh, the way in which we deal with disparities in care and access to our patients broad array of chronic issues in a much better fashion. Last year, the Health Center initiated a new uh, electronic medical record. And the documentation of our patients' and many chronic diseases and conditions are, is important for us and critical that we do that in the most accurate fashion. Physicians who are well trained in documenting and coding are able to capture the severity of illness within our patient population. This coding is a major component of every visit that we have at the health center. Last year we had over 210,000 patient visits. Not only does it capture that data, but it allows us in the end to hopefully improve what is called our risk score. A risk score is something, is a methodology actually, that looks at the severity of our patient population. And as we move to a new model of payment in Massachusetts, that risk score will become all important because global payments will eventually be based on not only our actual cost, but that risk score and the severity of illness within our patient population. The next chapter in medical technology <coughs> will require the transfer of information seamlessly across a multitude of different providers. It's very important that we capture accurately the information that we can glean from our patient visits, document the diagnoses and interventions that we have in place, and be able to transfer that data across a multitude of providers. We are extremely grateful to the Partnership for Community Health for our $150,000 grant to support this coding improvement initiative. Again, this grant will allow us to train over 100 of our clinicians on newly emerging coding best practices that will help us document the complexity of care in our patient population and ensure that we have the revenue to support the work we do. Later in the speaking program, Dr. Gravel will discuss in more detail how coding will, will have a positive effect on the overall patient care. <coughs> 